Well, as you've probably guessed, I'm not in my hometown of Dinbich today. I'm actually in a different Dinbich. This is Dinbich at Pascod, otherwise known by tourists as Tenby. Tenby's real name, Dinbicha Puskod, means the little fortified town of the fish. In the 13th century, a protective wall was built around the entire town by the Norman invaders to protect it from constant attacks from the local Welsh military. And the walls still remain. Tenby has a lot of beaches. Four to be precise. This is one of the bigger ones and is known as South Beach. Let's take a walk along the prom and through the town to see what we can see. Colourful flowers are definitely a Tenby thing. You'll see them all over the place. Oh, and beer! Tenby also likes beer and has even got its own craft beer brewery. The building on the island in the distance is St Catherine's Fort, which was built to protect Britain from Napoleon. And we'll get a closer look at it later. As soon as we turn the corner at the end of the prom, well, I said there would be lots of flowers, didn't I? These are the ancient walls encompassing what has become known as the Old Town. And as you can see, the flowery theme continues with huge fountains of flowers adorning its entire length. But what is inside these walls? Let's take a walk through the famous Five Arch Gatehouse and take a look. The flower theme continues even down the little side streets. The other thing they do in Tenby, as I mentioned earlier, is craft beer. Let's take a look at Brad de Harbour, the local brewery. As you see, the entire alleyway has become a sort of open-air pub. With lots of little hidden nooks and crannies. Thank <laughs> you. 
Of course there's a bar to sample the beers and across the way a gift outlet. And if you'd like to check out the brewery itself, then just walk this way. And here we are. Let's get back to the town. Below us is another beach, the Castle Beach. So named because this hill is where the castle once stood. Let's take a look. At the top of the hill is a memorial. This is for Albert, the Prince Consort, husband of Queen Victoria. Not entirely sure what he's doing there, but he has got a stunning view. This 13th century watchtower was used by the British Admiralty for many years, but is now home to a Met Office weather station. And anything else you need to know about this hill, you can find here. On the way down we get a fine view of St Catherine's Fort, temporarily divorced from Castle Beach by the high tide. As we follow the footpath round, we come across this impressive building. And it is, of course, the Royal National Lifeboat Institute's launch station. And next door is... Another one? They have two? A closer look reveals that this was the old lifeboat station, and is now a private dwelling. Let's pop back into the town. And here we are at the bottom of Sergeant's Lane, which is where the craft brewery is. And a look over the wall reveals a harbour full of bobbing boats. Let's go down there. Anyone for Hivenya?
And here is the smallest of Tenby's beaches, the Harbour Beach. If you like messing about in boats, then this is the place for you. In the distance, we can see yet another beach. This is Tenby's North Beach. Probably the favourite of them all with its iconic rocky outcrop. Thanks for joining me. I hope that this video gave you a flavour of Dinbicha Puskot, or Tenby, and what a great little seaside gem it is. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to share it with others, and perhaps drop me a thumbs up. Until next time, Huil Vaurichie.